Have you ever considered how much untapped potential lies in our urban spaces? Picture for a moment, the towering buildings, the bustling streets, the concrete and steel that make up our cityscapes. Now, imagine a transformation. Visualize those same spaces intertwined with vibrant greenery, flourishing flowers, and fresh produce. This is the potential of vertical gardening, a revolution that challenges us to think upwards and redefine our urban landscapes. What if we could turn these concrete jungles into green blooming oases? Enter the world of vertical gardening, a revolution that is reshaping our urban spaces. This innovative approach to gardening takes plants from the ground and lifts them skyward, maximizing the use of space in densely populated cityscapes. Vertical gardening isn't just about space efficiency though. It's a response to the concrete jungle, a method of bringing nature back into our lives and creating sustainable green environments where once there was only steel and glass. Vertical gardens can transform an unloved concrete wall into a lush, living work of art. They can turn a small balcony into a personal oasis, brimming with life and color. But perhaps most importantly, they offer a way to improve air quality and combat the urban heat island effect, making our cities healthier and more livable. From simple do-it-yourself projects to complex hydroponic systems, vertical gardening offers endless possibilities for urban dwellers to reconnect with nature. This is the vertical gardening revolution. Creating a vertical garden is easier than you might think. So let's get our hands dirty and embark on this green journey. First things first, choosing the right plants for your vertical garden is crucial. Consider the amount of sunlight your space gets and select plants accordingly. If your space is bathed in sunlight for most of the day, go for sun-loving plants like succulents or geraniums. If your space is more shadowy, ferns or ivy could be your best friends. Next, it's time to set up your vertical structure. There are countless ways to do this. You could use a pallet, a trellis, or even a hanging shoe organizer. If you're feeling crafty, you could design your own structure using recycled materials like old bottles or cans. The key here is to allow enough space for the roots of your plants to grow and spread. Once your structure is ready, it's time for the fun part, planting. Fill your containers with good quality potting soil and gently place your plants in. Make sure the roots are well covered with soil. It's like tucking your plants into their new vertical beds. Don't forget to leave enough room for your plants to grow and breathe. Now, on to plant care. Watering your vertical garden can be a bit trickier than a traditional garden. You want to make sure each plant gets enough water but you also don't want water to pool at the bottom of your structure. A slow, gentle watering technique works best. And remember, different plants have different watering needs, so do your homework. Next, let's talk about maintenance. Pruning and trimming your plants regularly will keep them healthy and looking their best. Keep an eye out for any signs of disease or pests. Catching these early can save your garden a lot of trouble. Feeding your plants is also important. A slow-release fertilizer applied at the start of the growing season can provide your plants with the nutrients they need to thrive. Again, different plants have different nutrient needs, so make sure you're feeding them what they crave. And finally, be patient. Gardens don't grow overnight. It might take a few weeks or even a few months for your vertical garden to fill in and start looking lush. But trust me, it's worth the wait. There's nothing quite like the satisfaction of seeing your very own vertical garden come to life. And there you have it, your very own vertical garden. It's a testament to your creativity, your commitment to sustainability, and your love for all things green. But remember, the journey doesn't end here. Your vertical garden will continue to grow and evolve just like you, so keep learning, keep experimenting, and most importantly, keep gardening. Beyond the aesthetic appeal, vertical gardens hold significant environmental benefits. Now, let's delve into the green heart of vertical gardening. Beyond their visual splendor, these verdant walls are silent warriors in the battle against environmental issues. They stand tall, not just as symbols of urban renewal, but as active contributors to a healthier planet. Firstly, vertical gardens are natural air purifiers. In our concrete jungles, air pollution is a pressing concern. But here's where our leafy allies step in. Each plant in a vertical garden acts like a mini air filter, absorbing harmful pollutants and carbon dioxide, and releasing fresh, clean oxygen. It's like having an army of green lungs, tirelessly working to cleanse the air we breathe. But the benefits don't stop at air quality. These urban oases also play a pivotal role in combating the urban heat island effect. This phenomenon, where city areas are significantly warmer than surrounding rural areas, is largely due to the prevalence of concrete and asphalt, which absorb and radiate heat. Vertical gardens with their lush foliage, 
help cool the environment by providing shade and releasing moisture into the air through transpiration. It's a natural air conditioning system, working to keep our cities cooler and more comfortable. In addition, vertical gardens contribute to biodiversity. In an urban setting, they provide a much-needed habitat for birds, insects, and other small creatures, creating pockets of wildlife in the heart of the city. It's a way of inviting nature back into our urban landscapes, fostering a harmonious coexistence between man and nature. And let's not forget the mental health benefits. Studies have shown that being around greenery can help reduce stress, enhance mood, and improve concentration. So, these vertical gardens are not just helping the environment, they're also promoting our well-being. Vertical gardens are not just about maximizing space or adding a dash of green to our urban canvases. They are tools of transformation, turning gray cityscapes into vibrant living ecosystems. Vertical gardens are not just beautiful, they're a step towards a more sustainable urban lifestyle. Across the globe, individuals and communities are embracing the vertical gardening revolution. Let's venture into the lives of these green pioneers, who've turned concrete into canopy and steel into sprouts. Meet Alice, a retiree from New York City. Alice traded her knitting needles for a trowel when she started her vertical garden. Her apartment balcony, once a barren concrete slab, is now a vertical Eden brimming with herbs, vegetables, and even a few blooming flowers. For Alice, her vertical garden is not just a hobby but a way of life. She enjoys fresh homegrown produce every day and has become a beacon of inspiration in her community. Then there's the Smith family from London. They live in a traditional terraced house with a small backyard. One summer they decided to transform their narrow space into a vertical kaleidoscope of fruits and vegetables. Their once dull brick wall is now a living tapestry of greenery. The Smiths tell us their vertical garden has not only beautified their home but also brought them closer, as a family. Their weekends are now spent tending to their garden and enjoying the fruits of their labor. Next, let's fly to Tokyo, a city known for its high-density living. Amidst the urban jungle, we find a community initiative that has turned a whole apartment block's exterior into a flourishing vertical garden. This green wall has become a symbol of sustainable living, reducing the heat island effect, and improving air quality. It's not just a feast for the eyes, but also a testament to the resilience and innovation of city dwellers. These stories are proof of the transformative power of vertical gardening. From a retiree in New York to a family in London and a community in Tokyo, they all share one thing in common. They've embraced the vertical gardening revolution. They've maximized their growing space, improved their quality of life, and contributed to the greening of their cities. They are living proof that anyone, anywhere, can join the vertical gardening revolution. Now that you've seen the potential of vertical gardens, it's your turn to join the revolution. The power to transform your space into a green oasis is in your hands. Imagine the satisfaction of seeing your first sprout peek through the soil, of harvesting your own herbs for a homemade meal, of watching a once barren wall bloom with life. This is not just about beautifying your living space, it's about contributing to a sustainable future, one vertical garden at a time. You might be wondering, where do I start? Don't worry, we've got you covered. There are countless resources available to guide you on this green journey. From online tutorials and gardening forums to local community workshops, the knowledge you need is just a click or a conversation away. And remember, vertical gardening is not a one-size-fits-all endeavor. Whether you're working with a small balcony or a spacious rooftop, there's a vertical garden design that's perfect for you. Start small, perhaps with a few hanging pots of your favorite herbs. As your confidence grows, soak in your garden. Recycled materials like wooden pallets or plastic bottles can make excellent planters. Let your creativity shine through. Don't let the lack of ground space limit your gardening dreams. Embrace the vertical gardening revolution and transform your space today.